What is up you guys? It is Mick here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure and hit that subscribe button. I haven't vlogged in a while, so that feels like weird to say. But if you're also new here, welcome. I'm really glad that you're here. Today I am going to the mall because I have a trip to, a month long trip to Bali for two weeks and then um, Thailand for another two weeks. And I leave in a little over a week. I want to say eight, eight or nine days. Um, next Monday. You guys don't know when next Monday is. Anyways, so I'm going to the mall to get some shorts because I only have one pair of shorts. And I decided that I wanted to vlog it and compare different size shorts in different stores. So... Normally, I mean, I my size, um, I'm more curvy. I'll insert a picture here. I'm more curvy. I am athletic, though, so it's not... It's, it's a weird mixture, and um, clothing companies and stores don't typically cater to that, like I've said in my other videos. So I'm a size 6. I'm a size 8. I'm a size 10. I'm a size 4. Like, I'm all over the place, but generally... Um, I would say in jeans, I'm around a size six and an eight, but with jean shorts specifically, I usually have to size up because my thighs don't fit in the shorts. It's like the worst thing ever, especially when you like tight fitted things like I do. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to show you guys all of it. And I think it'll just be like, you know, for shits and giggles. Um, but anyways, welcome to the video and I'll see you at the mall. All right. So. I made it to the mall. I'm walking into Forever 21. I never buy things from Forever 21, but I'm doing this for you guys. So stay tuned because their jeans and their shorts are pretty terrible. All right, this is like the first thing that I saw when I walked it into Forever 21. I can already tell that they're gonna be a little short, but from the last time that I went in Forever 21 to try on anything, they feel like they're better material. So, let's get some sizes and I shall try them on. These were the only jean shorts that I found there. So I have a medium wash and then a really, really light wash. But they're size 31s. They did not have a, any size bigger. Um, I knew that the smaller size wasn't going to fit me. And then I also got these like beachy shorts all sizes large. I got all of the colors, so. Okay, first pair here. Um, <laughs> where is the coverage? I already have a camel toe. I have zero coverage. I'm gonna chafe like no other. These are already a no. Um, they ride up a bunch of material here. No go. So the lighter wash jeans, or jean shorts, are just a tad bit better, but <laughs> this. Why does this happen? So many questions. This is always what happens when I try on these pants at Forever 21. And they're too short. They ride up again right here. And I'm going to chafe really bad. These are the beach shorts and they fit fine, but I'm not in love with them. They're, they're comfortable, but they just don't flatter any part of my body. And I'm not even going to try to bother in trying on these ones. So, these are all a no-go, this is Forever 21, this is just a shirt that I picked up, and I guess we should just go on to the next store. I am in American Eagle right now, and I just Googled it, but it said that a size 31 is a size 8 in American. That's what I Googled. I double checked, but if I'm wrong, go ahead and comment below. I got these in an eight, and then I also got them in a 10, so we can see the difference. Um, and then these are the mom jean, or mom jean shorts in a 10 as well. Right away, I can tell that the this area right here is too tight. You can see how my um, inner thigh fat kind of like folds. Not folds, but I just like, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what the word is, but it's there. Um, and I don't want that, and it's a little too short too. Um, otherwise, the waist fits. Um, I don't have that bunching right here, and I also don't have any gap right here too. So the waist fits, 
the thighs don't, which is what I normally run into. These are the size, oh my gosh, what are they? These are the size 10. Um, the waist still fits. I love the high rise and they fit better on my thighs. Um, I like them. What do you guys think? I really like them. I feel like I can like run and jump around, which is good. Like they're not constricting whatsoever. My butt has room. But, okay, now that I'm looking at the back, it shows a little buttocks, which I don't mind, but I know some of you do. These are the size 10. And the mom um, shorts. And I know I've expressed to you guys my issues with mom shorts and mom jeans and boyfriend jeans, but they never look right. I think that is just not for my body type. <laughs> okay, so I ended up buying those American Eagle jean shorts, the ones that I said I loved, the darker wash ones, and I just went into a store called Dry Goods. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, it's in... I hope it's not zoomed in. Oh, yes. Okay, well, it's in Polaris, my local mall. So I don't know if they have an online store. Before I put this video up, I'll check. But I found these one jean shorts. They only run in a small, medium, or large. But I really liked the coloring of them. So I'm gonna try them on regardless, because I feel like a size 10, or I'm sorry, a size eight is around a medium. Maybe it's a large, I don't know. But I'm gonna try them on for you. Something that I noticed right when I went into this dressing room was the lighting compared to the other dressing rooms. I talked about this, like even the lighting right here, it's just so harsh and I've talked about this on my Instagram that mirrors just literally your view of yourself because one one second you're looking in a mirror that elongates your body and then the other second you're you know in front of a mirror in front of a dressing room trying on new clothing where your fat is folding over you know smaller clothes that you don't fit into and it's a less flattering lighting situation and it may be a um, it makes you wider instead of longer and it's just like the most frustrating thing ever and you think you'd think that dressing rooms would know by now that, you know, if they were just normal lighting and normal mirrors, that we would probably be in their store more and if they cater to bigger sizes. That's just my opinion. Let me know your opinion below. And now I'm legitimately, sorry, I'm still talking about this, but I am legitimately confused at if this is actually my body or I'll insert another clip or if the other one's my body. past Hollister and I just couldn't find it in myself to go in literally not one ounce not one ounce of me wanted to go into that store and relive my middle school years so I'm in Madewell right now um, and I got a size 31 and they already look so big like so big compared to um, the forever 21 ones so I'm gonna try them on right now and so far, this has to be the biggest difference compared to the Forever 21. This is just a different pair than the Madewell jeans, uh, shorts, jean shorts. Uh, but these are also a 31. And then it, it, this is just so mind boggling to me. I'm literally like, I'm swimming. All in all, um, just to end this video, um, I'm about done shopping. I hate them all. But to end this video, I just want to say that fitting rooms are shit. Sizing, especially with women's sizing, it's all shit. Because they can't just find a common ground. Great, thank you. That's all I have to say. Uh, you saw how, like, just a little bit of my confidence changed by that other fitting room because of the lighting and the mirror and how I didn't even know which one was my body from the Forever 21 mirror, the American Eagle mirror, and um, the Madewell mirror, which I think is just absolutely insane. 
you think that with our voices coming out on social media and stuff that things would start to change and especially with this whole Victoria's Secret thing I was walking by Victoria's Secret and it reminded me how they were getting praised over having a 130 pound it might even be less than 130 pound girl who's a size 8 as a plus size model for Victoria's Secret which is freaking outrageous like it literally hurts my heart to think that that brand thinks that that is plus size no all bodies deserve to feel like clothing fits on their bodies we shouldn't have to walk into a clothing store and feel like we have to change our bodies in order to fit into clothing no that's not our job the clothing brand's job the the store's job and the company's job is to make clothing to fit our bodies to make us feel more confident not the other way around I want to hear your thoughts though I know this was like a little bit scattered but leave a comment down below if you like these videos if you like the vlog style let me know and I will see you in the next video make sure and hit that subscribe button love you guys I know you'll be worth it, so I'll wait.